Hey, Comic Book University alumni. Right here, we've got Wave 34 of the Star Wars Black Series stuff. This is the latest wave that is out at the time of this uh, filming, even though a whole bunch of waves just recently came out. Anyway, Wave 34, there's only five figures, and, <laughs> you know, not so much woe is me, but, wow, these things are expensive, so I'm not complaining <laughs> that there's only five. Uh, but we've got Gina Carino. I don't know if this is the first action figure she's ever had, but it's about damn time. UFC alumni in and of herself. So we're going to pop these suckers open. We're going to see what we got. Okay, guys, so here's all the toys. They're all out in their beautiful glory. And uh, yeah, these are, for the most part, beautiful. Let's talk about this character over here first. Her name is Jana. She's a brand new character. I think it's supposed to be like Jenna, which means heaven in Arabic. Uh, dig it. I dig this character. Couple of issues with just her equipment. I think that, you know, for the most part, her equipment is, or everything about her is beautiful. Like if you set the stuff up just right, you know, you got the, the two straps there. You actually have to undo the strap for the, um, for the, the quiver so you can put her, her stuff across her back. This one, however, I just wedge it behind her cape like this from the bottom, and then her bow stands up right. This is one of those old school, like, dollar store looking bows, you know, that you buy for your kids, and you put the arrow <laughs> in the middle there instead of knocking it along the side. I mean, yeah, it is, <laughs> it's weird, but whatever. And I don't know how to make her hand hold the bow. I don't, I think she's supposed to be uh, right-handed, which means that she should hold the bow with her left hand, the arrow with her right. Uh, I don't know how to necessarily do that, but I do know that her hand does open, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's just the bow itself, it's really weird. So, is what it is. Anyway, um, she's also got this little slug thrower here that comes out and goes in her, uh, her little holster here. It's cool. I guess there's like a bone handle or something like that. It's hard to get it in, just as hard to get it out. Come to me, you little monster. So anyway, this is it right here. It's got this uh, sharp bow, uh, bone pummel. I imagine it's bone. It's just like the design of this. This is just simply fantastic. A little slug thrower. I guess it's like single shot. Doesn't even look like it's six shots, but whatever it is, that's awesome. You know, the, instead of regular guns, they have slug throwers in Star Wars world. So I'm going to put that thing back in so I don't lose it. I don't know what any of this other equipment is on her, but she's... Obviously a Bedouin type character. Uh, this looks like a, a camera, <laughs> old school uh, picture camera over there, analog. Scrap the film. Uh, this little cape here, it's got a little hood in the back that doesn't actually go up. Uh, if this character winds up being really cool, like amazing in the TV series or, or the movie, then I'm probably going to fashion my own cape for her. Because I like her, I, I just, I gotta point it like the little thing on her, sorry, on her head there. Um, the natural black hair, the, the kinky aspect of it. Like, all of this, this is just absolutely perfect. Perfect. Uh, enough of you guys know that my wife is uh, African American, well, she's actually African. And, um, yeah, she's just, she's in love with the hair. So, yeah, I, I can't help, like, I, I when I got the figure, I right away showed her. I didn't even bother showing her the other stuff. And she was like, wow, that is probably the best figure that I've ever seen. So, bang, there you go. Um, you know what? Some of the stuff's going to fall is what it is. I'm just going to lean her. Okay, next we've got Luke uh, receiving his award. This is cool. You could, If you don't want to buy every single figure out there, you can really just use this to fight Darth Vader and the Empire Strikes Back because it looks similar enough. Just, you know, take this thing off and use one of his other lightsabers. He does not come with a lightsaber. He does, however, come with, um, I like that it's got a little strap on there. I, I imagine this is a light blaster or a medium blaster. Um, there's the light, medium, and heavy uh, blaster before you get into the carbine. Uh, aspect of gun, which is like a medium. You can either use it one-handed or two-handed. Bounty hunters are really fond of those, but blasters are usually for smugglers or if you're just doing some ceremonial thing. Anyway, so bang, right there. That's Luke uh, receiving his award f uh, for destroying the Death Star. That is freaking awesome. Oh, you stay over there. Finally, well, not finally, but I'm finally getting to Gina Carano. UFC uh, alumni extraordinaire. She is 
freaking awesome. I think this is the first character of hers that's out. The likeness on her face, gorgeous. Her body type, gorgeous. I'm going to point out her thighs, amazing, amazing work. This is nobody else's mold. This is her own mold. Man, this is gorgeous. This belt uh, comes loose. Can lift her. You know, obviously she only comes up, but so far. I can't wait to see this. I think it's supposed to be the Mandalore uh, TV series or movie, whatever the heck it's supposed to be. Cara Dune is her name. And uh, yeah, she's got this light pistol over here. Uh, this is cool. Very quick action. Oh, she also comes with this knife. I don't know any place to put this knife, so you see I just slide it in there. But she actually comes with a regular old knife. It doesn't even look like it's a vibro knife. Oops, should probably pick that thing up. But, I mean, this is beautiful. Look at the, the handle on it. Whole thing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous freaking uh, figure with some excellent, like, they really put their heart into this, man. And I am so impressed. I am so proud of this line. Like, Gina Carano looks great. Sorry, Cara Dune looks great. That Janna character looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to struggle to get this stupid thing in. Oh, I think that the sight actually goes on the other side. That's that's the problem I'm having. Put that over there. Buckle that guy back in. Eventually, that's actually kind of important because, again, I don't know any other place to put the knife. If I had to complain about this character, so there's no place to put this knife except winging it right there. That didn't actually go in, which means that the knife is going to fall loose. I really don't want to lose that beautiful knife. Um, there should be a place here to put it, or maybe in her gauntlet, actually probably on the left side, because it, it's pretty obvious that she's right-handed. And of course, she's got this huge, it looks like an M60, except it's got the uh, a barrel on both sides, a drum, excuse me, a drum on both sides. So you could use it either hand. I actually switched the direction of this, um, uh, the strap to, to put on here because it just, it didn't work for me on the other side. And she's clearly right-handed, so this is the way that she should use it. So she could just push, and pull it right up and just start boom, 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 firing from the hip. Yeah. Um, she's got the one knee brace here because this is obviously, the knee, she's right-handed. So obviously this is the knee that would go down on the ground. Um, this one would be up so she could fire that big freaking m60 looking beast that that pig on the back that's gorgeous like this is a beautiful beautiful figure i absolutely love the detail on this and every like the body mold the face everything bang uh we finally have a wedge antilles figure uh i was in the army i was never in the air force so i they've got these same i guess they're jump straps i don't know what these things are called but the uh, Luke Skywalker that recently came out with Bosk and IG-88 um, had this also. And they're very cool. I don't know how you run in them. I don't know what they're actually called. I'm thinking they're called jump straps. I don't know. But whatever the hell they're called, I'm... Um, and I know I wouldn't <laughs> jump from a freaking airplane wearing these. But whatever the hell these things are called, if somebody knows what they're called, please give me a heads up so I can actually look them up on Google. Uh, or just flat out tell me what they're used for. Uh, I'm really happy to finally get a wedge figure because heck to the yeah, the only <laughs> other survivor from the uh, the original Death Star being blown up went up against both Death Stars while Luke was on the second one. <laughs> Helmet goes on, love that. No place that I can see to put his uh, his blaster, and this has got to be a heavy blaster. I mean, this thing's huge, medium at the very least, but I think it's. Mm, no, I think it's medium, yeah. I mean, it can go in his hand, but aside from that, it's not really going any place. There should be a place to store it, but I guess it would just be put in his um, X-Wing, and then he'd pull it out with uh, an emergency kit and run if the X-Wing ever went down. But that's awesome. Okay, finally, and the figure I'm most disappointed with is the Jump Trooper. There's nothing special about this guy. It's just, you know, whatever. It's a character, and I kind of like this. I mean, it's I'm going to show you my major complaint in a bit. I like how it looks, like, as long as the fire or whatever it is is coming out of there and this is just exhausts for the intake, uh, that's where the actual air pressure goes, poof, like that, then I think his head, this is as far as his head goes up, then I think that's actually kind of perfect, you know, and just have his feet come out like this so he can do the jump, you know. Again, if this is where the air is coming out, it would come out from this direction, and then poof, like that, I think that's 
Maybe if his head went up a little bit more, but for the most, because like how thin that visor is. But for the most part, I kind of dig that. Look at that. You put one of the hands up and he just Superman it. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so yeah, I like this. I, I like this character. I like the little thing on the front, the little advertisement, whatever the hell that is, <laughs> for his the company that manufactured this, I guess Quat <laughs> Enterprise or something, Industries. Uh, I like that. Here's the major complaint I have. This two-part gun. Okay, it's not actually a two-part gun. This is undeniably a heavy blaster. I mean, this thing is just boom, boom, boom. Like, look at that, three shots. Like, that's just sick. But what's that little hole there? Yeah, that's for the sight. My sight popped off. Bring it out of the box. So it obviously goes right in there. Boom, like that. So you can see it. I'm going to have to break out the uh, dollar store crazy glue and uh, fix this. I mean, you get it at Walmart too, but why when I can... <laughs> get it at freaking dollar store for the same price but anyway yeah bang so I got to fix that now and I didn't feel like fixing it before I did the video I wanted to make sure you guys saw uh, just be careful when you pull this thing out of the box but these are the figures these are beautiful I really do love these figures uh, yeah especially uh, sorry just <laughs> especially these two figures you don't usually see gorgeous female characters like that I mean even the princess Leia with the the cloth that was like the nicest they had as far as I was concerned. But these blow that out of the water. Wow, they are gorgeous. Anyway, guys, that's Wave 34. And I'm out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.